Hi, how you doing? This is Law from 2MCCTV.com. Today I want to go over the, net the network function. Uh, basically, the net to get to the network function, what you're going to have to do is hit the menu button and go to network. Now, the point of the network function is if you want to view your DVR remotely, uh, this is the first step you have to take. You have to go into the network function, uh, network settings, sorry about that, network settings, and change your IP address according to what your router is set to. Now we have two options. We have static and we have DHCP. Basically if you're doing static you're going to have to input the IP address, the gateway, and the subnet mask manually. So you'll have to go to your router, get all the IP address and put it in, put it in the DVR but if you want the router to give out the IP address automatically what you're going to have to do is you're going to set to DHCP slash DDNS now this DVR is not connected to a router right now so right now it's going to give me all zeros if it is connected to a router it will give me a proper IP address and to touch on this point let's say you do have your DVR connected to a router and it's giving you all zeros that means there's not a proper connection between the DVR and your router so you might want to check the actual connection if the connection are in there tight you want to check the wire of the of what you're using to connect the DVR to the router and also what I also want to touch on is the DVR port and the IE port the IE port is set to 80 uh, if you do change the IE port to let's say 8080 you're gonna have to type in the colon 8080 when you're typing in the IP address of your DVR on a web browser so keep that in mind when you change that settings and the DVR port is the main port it uses to communicate between the actual program and the apps and that's about it thank you for watching our video make sure you check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and visit our website www.2mcctv.com